Here you are, Fred Rats, walk back. <laughs> So me and my father went to the Jacksonville Fall Festival and this year I didn't do, I didn't film it. I just got tired of filming. I didn't want to ruin the experience and I just wanted to enjoy it. So I didn't film it. And I think that I actually got a better deal because I was able to focus on enjoying killing mosquitoes. No. Enjoying buying things and I was able to get a better deal, I think. So I got these C clamps for like Okay, well, I got a laptop, these, this, and this, and, um, and this for $4, so that was an absolute steal. Got this old magnet, this, um, pair of scissors. It's kind of cool, actually. actually really cool. Some C clamps. Bits to some solenoid valves. Now this is the coolest thing. It was, well maybe not, maybe not the coolest thing, but the coolest engine related thing. This is from an old tractor I believe. This was, I believe, I think it was $14. And this will be the new cylinder for my next steam engine. Because it has a nice long barrel, so I'll be able to have a piston that goes really far up and down. And I'm hoping to try making a Teflon piston that won't need too much lubrication. And then this engine, this was ten dollars, and this is a little thing that goes on there. And definitely needs some work. It's seized up, but hey, ten dollars. If I make a couple of videos out of it, I'll get a good amount of views, and it'll more than enough pay for it. And then maybe we can see what we can get from it. Too bad. But yeah, that's it's totally seized on there. That's a shame. But yeah, a ten dollar engine and a part for a steam engine, that's not too bad. Well at least part for my steam engine. And I like that it actually has all these um holes in there where it can actually there's threads. And I can actually use that to hold stuff on. I love the design of this. Just look how that looks. If any of you guys know what kind of engine that was from, please let me know. Looks like a diesel of some sort, but that's all I can guess. I got this for... Oh, no, it was $4. Not bad. Not bad for a saw. Especially this nice old one. That'll fix up really well. This uh, old film... What to do before the burglar comes for two dollars. Maybe it's energized that, but look at all these old German books. Some of these are from like the 1800s and a lot of these are pretty old, so that's really cool. Now these are fashion guides, so it's really cool. These are from the 1800s. And they have like fashion and stuff, I think. Or like history of fashion or something like that. She's so cool, I couldn't pass that up. Now this one, this is a Stanley number 104 level. The level itself is nice and still working, including both of them. You know, because some of them actually have like an air bubble and they leak and stuff like that, so I'm very happy with that. I think we can do a good job of restoring this. It appears that this was painted green. I think what I'll do is I'll sand that off by hand. I'll remove all these copper parts, I'll remove the screws, clean them up separately. I'll maybe find brass screws, but probably clean them up and then I can reassemble it and yeah, that'd be really good, because I think it'd be nice to remove this, and then I can get in there, because there's a bunch of junk underneath there. Yeah, I love how this thing looks. 
Not bad for six dollars. And then I saw this generator for like, I think, twelve dollars. I've always wanted one, so even if it doesn't work, it was kind of worth twelve dollars. I can maybe experiment with rewinding it or whatever, but I figure in this video we can give it a test to make sure it actually works. But I figure it's such a low price that it probably wouldn't be too bad. Got this MacBook for almost free, and so that's kind of cool. It's very, very, very rusted up and all sorts of messed up, like the display port's all rusted up and ugh. Yeah, it looks in pretty bad condition. And look at that battery. Oh my god. <laughs> it's horrible. Then lastly we got these. One dollar a piece. They're really old, nice vintage work lights. This one's got a copper base to it with a wooden thing on it, so that's kind of cool. Looks like it says Hubble. And the light bulb was made in Canada. Weird. Do they still make light bulbs? That is so weird. Most of the light bulbs I know of are made in uh, China or something like that, so that's pretty cool. Mosquitoes, god damn it. Yeah, it looks like it might be actually pretty bad. So that's unfortunate. Uh, you know what? I'm a total idiot. For some reason I was thinking that this was a permanent magnet DC generator and it's not. So, let's try this. Still only 0.6 volts, so that's a shame. Been using this uh, capacitor to help maintain the voltage so it energizes the um, the field. I'm not sure what the terminology is. Now if I remove all this stuff and just have it across the ground and this then I get a bit more voltage. I don't know what to make of that, but we should probably open it up sometime and see if we're rewinding it. And then it might might be cool to um, make it to where it outputs 48 volts, because 48 volts is actually pretty pretty easy, uh, pretty pretty useful. Sorry. Oh shit! I forgot. I also got this. Look at that. This is like the coolest drill I've seen in a long time, and it's made by Thor. I never, never knew there was a tool company called Thor, but now I do. I love how it looks. It's a lot better than my old Black & Decker one from 1919. Now I'm going to test to see if it's shorting out because I want to go... Um, AC to me. Eh, point one of a volt. It's not great, but it can do. I'm a little confident about this. Unfortunately, it, it was designed to have a ground pin, but that was taken off, so that's a bit scary. Well, not scary, but oh. Looks like a treat. That is so cool. I might see about sending the Black & Decker one that I have over to Arduino vs. Evil, but only if he gives me 
a shout out because he was bugging me about that other one like he was begging me for it but i was like only if you send it back and he was like mm, i don't can't promise that so now that i have two of these and this one's a thor much cooler i don't know oh, look at that that's terrible Ooh, oh my god that's not going to go inside that'll go right in the trash if i can got my power supply my good power supply so hope it doesn't burn it up The light did not turn on, so... Uh... Yeah, this does not look like a good computer. But hey, for near free, it's not too bad. I can use it for spare parts or... Uh, actually, you know what? I have a friend who likes taking apart MacBooks. I'll just uh, give it to him. Well, I'm so excited for all this stuff. These C-clamps, I'm going to weld a pulley to them so I can use them for the construction of my workshop. I'll make it to where I can actually C-clamp a pulley up there and actually use them to hoist stuff up whenever I get it bigger, like for especially the roofing metal. I think it'll be work working really well. And so I wanted to pick up some C-clamps that I didn't mind welding to you, although I got some C-clamps that I... They're actually kind of nice. So I don't know. I might weld to them. I might not. And like tons of other little tools. Like this, this time... I tried limiting myself to mostly just useful things. I didn't quite stick with that, but yeah, because I got those, but, but like this. This saw is actually really darn cool. I think it'll clean up very well. Don't know anything about it, but oh well. And I don't see any wording on it. But you just don't see word saws like this. Well, at least not the big ones. This is really huge. The books are amazing. The film is amazing. I actually set out, I went there to find a nice old level and finding this one, like this one is going to clean up so well. It's going to be such a nice little video. Oh, I'm so happy. Ah, there's even more stuff. So I got these three NES controllers and this light. This is kind of cool. It's on guard. It's a metal one too. That's really cool. I think I paid five bucks for these. I, I can't remember though. I totally forgot I even got them. <laughs> That's cool though. So, sadly, I'm going to put all these in storage because I'm working on my workshop and I just got all the rest of the wood back and got some 12-footers and it looks like I might have more than enough wood to do what I'm wanting. And so, I might keep the price of the workshop under $2,000, although I'm hoping for $2,500. I think that'd be reasonable. Ah, these fucking mosquitoes. So, when the wind isn't blowing, the mosquitoes are fine but like today for some reason there's a little bit of a breeze and so i'm thinking the mosquitoes might be coming from some pond or something down there because now that i've pretty much just gone through and gotten rid of all standing water in my neighbor's yards and my yard there's no mosquito there's almost no mosquitoes when there's no wind but when the wind picks up and going going that direction i think that's what causes all these mosquitoes because they can go pretty far oh well so excited about that that cylinder just so cool and like even if I don't get it to work on a, an engine I could just use it for something else I don't know it's just so darn cool if I had two of them I could make a sterling engine you know that'd be pretty cool but oh well I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching see ya